Highbury Lisington, a really all uh, one district. And uh, he trains there and he, he really loves them. He knows all the players. And a little bit of touch of the pearly king there to give it the Cockney touch there. So it's all uh, fire mash and jelly deals. Born in Clapton and boxed for the Hackney Calderston Club. And also the Crown and Manor in his new team. So he had a very, he's got a very good amateur track record, uh, Michael Watson. Jim, what's the feeling now when you come in as a challenger on a night like this? This, this wait must seem like hours now to Watson. Yeah, well, I think that the worrying part is over, Reg. It's uh, sitting in the dressing room before you put the gloves on. Here's the man coming. Here's the, the man uh, Watson has to fear now. He's really an old stone face, this fellow, isn't he, Mike McCallum? And he, he got very testy when they said, hey, are you only 33? In fact, it is true, because I saw him box as a welterweight in the Montreal Olympics in 76 when he was 19. But he got very testy when asked about that. He says age doesn't matter, and I, I would agree with him on that, except his last fight, a defence against Steve Collins, a Dublinger, who's here tonight, uh, got a bit tough. He won the fight all right, but he was really struggling at the finish, and that's uh, why I think the bookmakers have gone for Watson as favourite. But this fellow can really bang, as you saw there knocking out Don Curry. I mean, that really was a tremendous punch he came up with there. And carrying in the WBA belt. And he's really got an expert team in his corner as well, so... Uh, Ricky Duff and Danny Mancini and train Eric Seek and we've got a lot to do in Watson's corner because this fellow's got the great veteran Eddie Futch who's had I think 16 world champions in his time and a former world away contender Hedgeman Lewis so here's the MC's announcement then. most famous boxing venue the Royal Albert Hall for the main attraction of the evening promoted by Matchroom and sponsored by Storm Seal a middleweight contest over 12 rounds, each of three minutes duration, for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. Your judges for this evening are Louis Tabat of America, Guy Dutras of Canada, Marco Rodriguez of Mexico, and your WBA supervisor, Gonzalez Silvero from Venezuela. Your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge is Nipper Reed, and your referee for the contest is Roberto Ramirez of Puerto Rico, your timekeeper Peter McCann of Hatching in Middlesex. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing to you in the red corner with the red and white shorts, with 22 wins, 24 contests, Well, that's uh, some support he's got there, Watson. And his opponent in the blue corner with the black shorts, with 37 wins from 38 contests, defending the title from Jamaica, the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Mike McCallum. At the way in at one o'clock today, Drury Lane, Michael Watson scaled 11 stones, 6 pounds, that's 160 pounds. Mike McCallum scaled 11 stone, 5.5 pounds, that's 159.5 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. So all the trimmings are over then, Jim. The, the talk's finished and we get down to the big stuff. This fellow's first time we've had him in uh, this country, Puerto Rican Ramirez, who has handled a few WBA World Championship but not, not a great note. You really, you really got the Arsenal North Bank cheers there, Coe and Chipper Watson. There's great personalities in the crowd. Nigel Kennedy, we've seen Gary Lineker, Steve Collins, and uh, at the rules meeting today, the Kidduff was ironing all sorts of things out. And Louis Sparder, who's looking after McCallum, was happy with the situation. And they're fighting now. Barry Hearn's matchroom purse of $437,500. He had to pay to bid for this fight. So I think this will bolster both of their uh, financial portfolios. Well, here we go then. Scheduled for 12. And uh, as you're well aware, I think they're both good punches. The World Boxing Association version of the middleweight championship.
well Watson fought the perfect tactics uh, to defeat Nigel Benn but I don't, I don't think it really matters now it was a different type of opponent far more experienced yeah, that, that's one of the unfortunate things uh, McCallum is probably the worst kind of opponent uh, for Watson to shine against uh, Watson likes the adventurous pace of opponent N nice little right hand from, from Watson he seems to have settled in quickly he looked very fired up very confident before the first bell but as I say, this is not the type of opponent uh, that Watson enjoys facing. He likes the more adventurous, the people are going to make the mistakes. He certainly was, as I say, quietly confident the whole time in training Watson. I was a bit impressed with that. I've seen a lot of him right from uh, the early amateur days. That's the Association of Boys Club, junior ADAs. And the only time he's been on the deck was... Uh, in an amateur briefly with the Scott Russell Barker. But he's a hard man, uh, Mike McCullum. Well, he's tasted a couple of McCullum's left hooks there, Jim, and he seems to have taken those well anyway. He doesn't want to go on taking them, Watson. See, the thing is, Watson being the younger, the fresher, he must look to dictate the pace in the early stages and that's not really what Watson likes to do Watson likes to settle down draw the other fellow into mistakes but he's going to have to box a little bit out of character here they're the right tactics but they're also dangerous tactics right? I tell you what sometimes when Callum hangs around in the early rounds he's not doing it here now that's why it's nicknamed the body snatcher. You now you see how he throws punches to the body and tries to weaken the opponents like that, and make the arms come down. Watson's jab is a little bit ragged, Reggie. He's bending down as he throws it. He's not, he's not covering his chin the way I'd like to see him do. He's just a little bit loose and ragged in the first round here. Nothing happened, thankfully, but... It's not as tight as I would like to see him. Good opening round this. They're really trying to sort each other out pretty early. There's no scouting reports going on. Got off to a hard start. So now they've got to settle this fellow down in the corner there, as I say, Dust Seek and Mancini. And uh, the ring records then of Michael Watson. Uh, the only defeat against James Cook. He, was, he always says he had a virus at the time. And the draw was in Las Vegas. Uh, that was a technical draw because the opponent uh, had a cut eye. So I wonder what the corner plan will be there now, Jim. These, the think tank boys, they were good against Ben. Can they do it now? Well, a lot of work uh, went in from Watson in the open round, but very little success. I think he's found out in the first round just how classy and how experienced this fellow was. Uh, he didn't really land many worthwhile punches. Had to take a few in return. Just not as careful as I would like to see him. So round two, maybe uh, Watson was glad to get that opening round out of the way. A little bit of tension. Digs hard, which somewhat now so close up to the action here. I promise you, they're sinking into the body of McCullum's punches. Watson seems to be throwing that jab there, as though he's not very sure whether it's going to land or not. A little, little uh, complaint from McCallum about Watson's head then. trying to out-jab each other now. As you say, Jim, he's, he had to try and set a fast pace, Watson, but he walked onto some punches doing it. So that's the trouble. It's the wrong kind of opponent. The right tactics are just out of character for Watson, but he's, going, he's stuck with him. He's going to have to do it. If he stands off, he has no chance. But he's, he's a little bit reckless and a little bit careless. McCallum is really enjoying himself at the moment. Watson's going to have to land a big punch to give himself some confidence, I think. The 
Luke McCallum is just having a half, st half step out of each ridge and all of Watson's punches are stopping short. Look, McCallum just standing there as though he's on a heavy bag at the moment. Superb body puncher, McCallum. I said it uh, right from the start. Which is, uh, I say the, the nickname body snatcher. And he's, he's feeling those all right, Watson. You can see the expression on the face and the way he was breathing. A minute to go in the second. He's trying to throw the right hand over the top of McCallum's left lead there, Watson. Reggie, I don't think Watson has any chance of beating this man at long range. He's trying to out-jab him, and it looks impossible at this stage. No, it's... Watson has been shaken up with these punches, Reg. These are vicious punches he's yep. taken. It's a bit of a war of attrition as well, and Watson doesn't need that. Watson's going to have to try something else. It's no use. What he's doing is not working. He's going to have to back off, do a bit of boxing, try to find a bit of confidence. He's been beaten to the punch at every turn here. So, coming up then for the end of the round. Oh, punch there. I could feel it outside the ring. Something cold and calculated in there about Mike McCullum as he walked back to the corner there. He just glanced over. So McCullum's a ring record then, as I say. He is genuinely 33, and he's, he's fighting like a young man here, really, isn't he? And his only loss, surprisingly, was to the African naturalised Italian Sambu Kalanbe. Uh, I would have thought he'd seek a return with him any time he wants. Uh, but the weight's getting a bit different for those two. And as I say, there's the corner there with 78-year-old Eddie Futch, a real brilliant corner man and Hedgeman Lewis on the outside there before John Stracey in London. Well, a convincing round there, certainly, for Michael Cullen. Now, the even money shot, Jim, really, is looking slightly odds on there, isn't he? Yeah, he's looking very commanding. The problem for Watson is he's throwing punches and it's as though he doesn't even think they're going to land before he throws them. Into the third. that bit closer to him now, Jim Watson, with those leads. He's, he's getting through with them. That's what he's got to do, Red. He's not going to beat this man at long range. He's got to get closer and just put power into every punch. What he's been doing in the first couple of rounds hasn't been working. Already this is looking better, Red, but I don't know if McCallum's going to find an answer to it. The referee certainly not been wanted here. He's staying well out of the picture. This is a bit of a pasty in this setting. Yeah, but it doesn't look as though McCallum has ever been knocked out of his stride. As I say, the right tactics just don't suit Michael Watson, so he's in an unfortunate position here tonight. They're just out of character for him. He's just got to try and wear the old lad's legs out a bit if he can. But uh, he might have to take a fair amount of uh, stick to do that. See, Reggie, maybe he's mentally primed up to, to, to lose the first third of the fight and expect it to be really hard, as it was against Nigel Benn. Maybe he's primed up to think that way, and all he wants to do is get through these early rounds. But there's a bit more confidence in his work now. But these shots are still vicious coming back towards him. It's about time the referee needed to dive in there. A little bit of head work going on. He actually plants his feet firmly on the deck there, McCullum, when he throws those body punches. He really gets some leverage into, the, into them. 
for Watson's managing to drive him back a bit more. He's still taking some shots, Reds, but at least he's having some results. He's pushing him back now, which has taken out some of the sting from McCallum's counter. And the crowd immediately recognised that as well. Watson's making McCallum work now, Reg. This is a little bit better. Still a little bit ragged, but this is the way he's got to do it. But at least he's making the champion set better pace. this isn't it Watson trying to hold the arms to his side a bit there Jim trying to block some body punches as well but he's full of guts isn't he at least he's trying to carry the fight a bit yeah well he is so fired up there was a, a look in his face in the second round. I thought maybe he was losing a little bit of confidence. But no, he's right back in again. I don't know if that is down to him or his corner. But as I said earlier, it's as though he knows it's going to be hard and he's prepared for it. He's just going to go through this. Well, you can see that they trade on durability and it's uh, only, only going to be the... The pace of the contest, the longer it goes, that one man might go down. See, suddenly McCallum is not enjoying himself quite so much, Reg. No, absolutely. Low punch as well. Oh, great shot. That's probably Watson's best punch so far. couldn't have physically prepared better than he has for this uh, Watson. He really is all rhythm and work and he's taken some hard shots and he's coming back in the fourth now. If it reaches the stage where Watson can come through McCallum's best punches, then we're going to see a new world champion. McCallum, as I say, not quite so happy now. His nose is bloodied there, and I hope there's not uh, any re reoccurrence of the damage that he had in training when this fight was postponed from last November. Uh, Watson. Might have a bit of trouble breathing there, Jim. He's, he needs to suck in all the air he can here, I think, Watson, because this really is a hard pace for middleweights. Right on the button there, 11 stone 6, Watson. 11, 5 and a half, McCullum. And into the last half minute then of the fourth round of this WBA championship. <laughs> now that's as good a punch as you can expect from McCallum and Watson took it without flinching Reg. Jim, we can see that uh, big punch coming in. There it is there. He caught him square on too. Uh, Watson standing there. Just looking for the opening, isn't he there, McCullum? Well, at least Watson's pushing him back at the edge, and that's the main thing at this stage. Let's have another look at that then. Yeah, well, Watson's doing the same thing. That, that was the good right hand, Reg, and look, Watson walking straight after them. That, that's a good sign for Michael Watson. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate he should take it, but the way he came back, that's championship material anyway. Round five. Oh, 
Watson, Watson will repeatedly say, brimful of confidence. He's actually stopped 10 of his last 11, but of course, none of them really in McCullum's class. And uh, Watson actually hasn't been beyond the ninth round. Well, not only measuring up to Jim what we thought it would be, it's even better, this, isn't it? Yep, it's even better. I thought we might have seen some more careful boxing, but uh, quite the opposite. Really cavalier stuff. And the tactics, as I said earlier, are right for Michael Watson, but it's just, this is not the way he likes to do business, but it's the only way he's going to beat McCallum. He can't afford to stand off. Just a slight drip uh, of blood coming from Watson's nose. I don't think the corner would... Uh, corner men are too bothered about that. Well, obviously, they haven't taken the punch, but what I mean is they, they, they're coping with it okay. Watson slightly a lower gear beginning of this round, Reg. He's allowing McCallum to get that little bit of space between the two of them. He can't afford to do that. Obviously, he's feeling the pace, but uh, he's going to have to go back to what he was doing in the third and fourth round. He really is a cagey old customer, this fellow, McCallum. Well, the crowd rising to that, but it's on deaf ears as far as McCallum's concerned. Well, that was another full-bodied right hand from the champion. Watson took it well, but I think the shot troubled him slightly. Too much space between the two of them now, Reg. Watson's got to get closer. We're into the last minute of the fifth. What a great battle Watson has put up so far. And he's covering up well. Now that's what he did with Nigel Ben, but what a fight back there. It looked as though he was struggling for a second or two there, Watson, and then came straight back. He's even trying to outgame this fellow, Jim. So much heart rage, but it's not McCallum's not ready to be outgamed like this, especially when you've taken a couple of shots. Tactics wrong at this moment, Reg. Is there just trying to put a it's probably a coagulant in the in the nose there of Watson, but it's not serious. Jim, have a look at some more replay there. Yeah, all the way through, too much space between the two of them, and McCallum very dangerous at long range. See, this is what McCallum wants. He wants that split second longer to place his counter punches. Watson gave him that time and that round. See, Watson, as I say, this is not the way he likes to do business but he realises he has to do it. He's taken all the chances and so much courage. Look, he takes a full-blooded shot, nods to him, we're ready to go straight back in again. Well, that old thing now about to, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, you know, and certainly uh, Watson's going to need to do that. This, this fellow's got a lot of fight left in him, the champion. Reg, this is a very important round because Watson had two good rounds, although maybe he was losing them when punches landed. They were good as far as his tactics were concerned, but the previous round was not so good. So this is an important round for Michael Watson. He can't allow the champion to have another good round. And it's the sixth round. sensible because he was falling short with the punches there but now he's just edging that bit closer now can he take over the second half of the fight Jim I wonder well as I see Rage he really wants a big round here McCallum got all his confidence back in the fifth round 
Watson must not allow him to have a good round here. He must set the pace and take some more steam out of the champion. This is more like it. This is a division, of course, of middleweights. Right back to Bob Fitzsimmons, Andy Turpin, Terry Downs, Alan Minter. It's so hard, Jim, and yet it's, it's clean, isn't it? The referees have very little to do. Yeah, but a couple of low blows from McCallum, but uh, the referee quite rightly just let them go. Had a word in his ear, but didn't break the action. What a great contest this has been so far. McCallum's trying to slow the pace now, Reg. He's trying to back off, use his legs a little bit. This is another good sign for Watson. The pressure is beginning, maybe, to take his toll on the older champion. good fight back by Watson this is now if he can just try and put a bit of lead in the legs now of uh, McCallum that's exactly what he wants if he can slow him down but there's always danger there with this champion he's such an accurate puncher as well can you see now McCallum is doing things that are out of character Reg a little bit reckless himself so Watson's work and pressure now getting to him. And that was a good shot from McCallum. He didn't seem to trouble Watson too no, much. That chopping right hand is, it would, would have dropped a few fighters. After the bell almost there. And they're objecting, obviously, from Watson's corner. Danny Mancini was pretty good at that. He was calling out to the Puerto Rican referee. What was that all about? Good round, really, for, for this man, Watson. He's really fighting his heart out here. Remember, the first time he's even been in with any world champion. And a very excited crowd here, full of personalities. He's breathing a bit hard, the champion. It looks to me, Jim, we're quite near the corner. and brush up as we come out for round seven. And the referee showing the, the rounds with a finger sign to McCallum there, presumably he did it to Watson, I didn't see that. Now he's really going to step up some pace now. I think the, the corner wisdom telling this fellow the fight plan, and this is when you've got to apply the pressure because it, McCallum now is not enjoying it as much as he did at the start. Well, I think as Watson stepped into the ring tonight, he must have been saying, I wish it was the seventh round coming up. Because that's when he must hope the younger legs to take over. And it's the seventh round now, Reg, and it looks like it might happen. Well, he's getting a big purse for this, McCollum. It's not only the purse, it's the pride at stake. About $350,000 he's getting uh, from the very high maximum. And that's why he needs sponsors like uh, Storm Steel. The job done now, Reg. He doesn't like the pace that's been boxed out so far. This is where he's beginning to use his tricks. Oh, just a slip, Reg. Oh, it's a tremendous a crowd of on their feet there. It's absolutely roaring around here now. The encouragement for Watson. No, Reg, this is good work from the champion. He knows what has to be done. He has to, to save his legs for the later rounds. He's really boxing well. Watson's reaching, he's got to step up close and make better use of his legs in this round. Oh, good shot there. Look for a minute, though, know, he's just trying to sink the knees there as if it's hurt there, McCallum. Now, can use be served, as I say here? Obviously, it's the, the power, the courage, the ability now that counts him. The hard part of the fight. Round it. Minute to go in the seventh. It's 
see again there's too much space between the two of them Reggie for Watson's benefit a little swelling too around uh, Watson's left eye right above us here almost the speed of light which unit it used to be your weight of course it's been a tremendous pace and all the way through Watson has been the man setting the pace but he's reaching with his punches he's a little bit out of distance and they're making some more mistakes again 10 title fight remember Mike McCullum he knows his way around doesn't he, he was at the light middleweight uh, limit of 11 stone before this as champion and I saw him win that against Sean Mannion at Madison Square Garden and he's still going If it does go 12, of course, we have judges from Las Vegas, Canada, and Mexico. The referee doesn't score. And I should say that if there are knockdowns, if one boxer goes down three times in any round, it's automatically over on the WBA rules, as we saw with the Hannigan and Breland. from uh, Watson's corner, Nicky Duffy saying uh, Michael's finding exactly the way that we've asked him to, but I can't tell you uh, how the scoring's going, but Michael's doing it the right way anyway. Watson's getting a little bit closer again this round, Reg, so a little bit better for him. is a good fight this has been shown in about 16 countries around the world now live television on abc in america but just doubling up his punches a bit more now uh, watson doing it's they're all single shots coming in to mccallum oh, very accurate single shots, Reg. Exactly. See, these are difficult rounds to score. Watson doing so much pressing, throwing so many punches. Certainly gives me a kick having watched a boy like this come up from the National Association of Boys Club. You know, reaching world class like this. Irishman Steve Collins yeah, gave McCullough a fairly rough time in his last defence in the late, later shot. part of the fight. Yeah. That was a dangerous left hook, Ridge. That caught Watson when he seemed a little bit relaxed, but thankfully he's recovered from it okay. Well, I'll tell you what, Jim, commentators all sticking their chin out, which is a bit dangerous, but he certainly takes a good whack, Watson, doesn't he? That, that's the hallmark of a good fighter. The top of the punch. After so many hard rounds, when the punch resistance is not quite what it was in the first few rounds, then you can't take chances. And Watson's still taking a few, but he has to do it, as we said earlier. Calling him on there, it's a bit saucy, Watson. What do you know about that? That's confidence, isn't it? Oh, and again on the bell, and a man seen he's charging after the Puerto Rican referee. He's very good at that. He's an expert. He's sort of Britain's version of uh, Lou Duva. You get tagged like that, Jim. It's, it's, it's no fun, that, is it? Do you think Watson's stamina now is going to be the key to the fight, Jim? Yeah, I think his youth and stamina could be the key. The trouble is, the last couple of rounds, when I thought maybe that uh, McCallum was beginning to slide out of it, he got himself right back into it again. He had a very smart round in the seven. He boxed well, dropped to pace, had a little breather, and he still was as good, was good and strong as Watson was in the eight. Couple of stars enjoying themselves. So Aston Villa fan, Nigel Kennedy and Gary Lineker. Now, what do you know, a Spurs fan, Spurs player cheering on an Arsenal fan. Round nine, and 
don't know why he came out and touched gloves there. I'm sure that's a bit dangerous. still the British champion and Watson's the Commonwealth champion. Turning southward, he, he got caught the last time he did that, Watson. It's a little bit risky. Any more trouble with that nosebleed, John? That's a good sign, isn't it? No, because it, uh, if you're going to open your mouth, taking in big gulps because you can't breathe through the nose, then obviously it's a big danger. See, McCallum is so smart, he's now refusing to be pushed back quite so often. He's standing his ground, he's taking a punch to land a punch. He realizes he mustn't let Watson push him back. Almost throwing himself at the champion there, Watson. He's, he's got to have a little bit of desperation in his fighting. Breaking up for a lot. Bit of lost ground in the early, early rounds. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, Jim, whatever happens here, the loser can leave the ring with his shield anyway. Well, this has been a tremendous battle. But, uh, see, McCallum, he knows, he's been here so often, he knows exactly what to do and when to do it. Watson's not really landing good punches now, Reg. He's still full of heart, full of courage, but his punches are not really class punches. But uh, McCallum still, there we go, still pulling out the championship material. A minute then in round nine. It's the best we've ever seen uh, Watson ta even taken in the Ben fight, Jim. It's a tremendous performance. Yeah, as I said earlier, you're asking a man to do a job he doesn't want to do, he doesn't want to do the job in this fashion. And look the way he's going about it. His legs are beginning to, to shudder a little bit now with Edward Shaw. I'm glad that bell sounded. Well, as I say, broken nose in training last uh, November, and he's, well, obviously, he's got to be breathing hard at this stage of the fight. I mean, the pace has been just tremendous. Uh, but all the heart in the world, this fellow, not that I ever doubted it uh, for one moment, when you see these fellows when they're young, you know, and they've got the, the spirit. And in replay, Jim? See, Watson still, as I said, full of courage, coming through, setting the pace, but not too many quality punches from him. But uh, the champion... In contrast, looking there, picking his shot, it's good concentration. Almost a shower bath in the corner there, and the wise old Eddie Fudge telling him what he's got to do, and I think he responds to it well, Mike McCallum. But uh, can the body stand up all right? So now, coming out for round 10, this is unknown territory now for Michael Watson. He's only been to the ninth round in his previous fights. He stops 18 of his 22 wins. And both remember I only lost one contest. Reg, it's always difficult to pressurise an opponent who has a good jab. And uh, that, that's what Michael Watson's been asked to do tonight. And it's not even his own style of boxing. So all the way through, it's, it's been a difficult job. There's so much success he's had in some of the rounds. But uh, he's looking now for something special, for some of these big right hands to land. too long perhaps he was pulling back a little bit from that McCallum oh the left hook was a peach of a shot here. a good shot but I just feel that most of this thing has left Watson's punches I hope I'm wrong 
but he's just driving himself on, Reg. He must be so tired. When you see a contest of this pace, Jim, you have to agree that pulling back from 15 round chapter to 12 would have a lot to be said for it then, didn't it? Yep, I think so. Although, having said that, Reg, maybe in a 15 round contest, Watson would have been able to plan a different campaign. Maybe not taking so many chances early. I always preferred 15 rounds, but uh, I don't think I would have liked 15 rounds of this. Watson is still pushing these hands out, but he's, his punches don't have the same quality as Callum's hands. Last minute of the tenth, and Jim, to remain strictly neutral here, your heart goes out to both fighters here, doesn't it? Oh, what a battle, Reg. Love it of a world title all the way through. See, McCallum is now even managing to move up a gear. I don't know how a man 33, so many fights behind him, can do this. Great experience as an amateur, of course, for the Montreal Olympics, the World Amateur Championships. As I said, McCullum had taken a deep breath there and uh, started to fire these salvos of punches in. So again, this is psychological. They must be telling Watson in the corner, the man's dead, he's got nothing left, and here he comes at the end of the 10th and raises the pace. Psychological warfare rate. Yeah, coming up to the end of the round, and I tell you, that bell sounds like an orchestra at the Royal Albert Hall to these fellas. He looked fairly pleased with himself. He ambles back to the corner there, Mike McCullum, just as though it's uh, just going back to the office routine. Bruised and slightly cut around the left eye now, Watson. Let's have a look at that again, Jim. Just look at the difference in quality of punches at this time, Reg. Watson still full of fire, full of courage, swinging the hands out. But see the, the accurate shots, the classy shots coming back from the champion. That, that's why I have uh, the difference between them at this time. If it was in courage, I would have Watson a mile ahead in points, Reg. But unfortunately, it's not just in courage. See, look, the champion still looking at the spot, picking them over they come. Watson just swinging those arms, just driving himself on as he has done from the opening bell. But look all the way through, sharp little. Seconds out, round 11. Round 11. And the gum shield stopped there, but they, they don't, it's not obligatory to put it back in, as in some organisations, and it's Watson's shield. It's a bad time to lose a gum shield, Reg, right at the start of the round. See, straight away, your jaw feels different, Reg. You don't have something to clamp the teeth on. Well, we, we always thought the plan was to make Watson come in in the second half of the fight. But, in fact, it's McCallum who's laying it on there, and he's got Watson in trouble here now. What a champion this is. He's He's really found the stamina that we didn't realise that he'd had. Thought maybe 33, well, it's going a bit, but not here. He's got, he's got total command in this round. And Reg Watson just can't go with him. I thought it was just a little bit of show at the end of the previous round, just putting Watson in his place, but McCallum looks to have plenty left. Left eye closing as well there, fast Watson. The referee primed to go in but what's a moan habit he's even encouraging McCullum to come on all the heart in the world but will it be enough and the crowd loving it what a sensational world championship McCallum reckless here if only Watson could muster power for one big shot Reg, but I just don't think now look at the way he's walking so tired toe to toe centre of the ring and Watson saying, OK, let's back that out. See, this is what Watson's good at now, Reg. Tucking up and pot-shotting back, but it just might be too late in the fight. 
referee almost got in the way of Watson there, trying to get away with a minute to go in the 11th. And he's just sagging a bit there, isn't he, Jim Watson? Yes, floundering into the ropes. And that was sheer exhaustion as well as those final punches came in. And he's not going to be able to get up from that. It's two minutes and 15 into the round. And the seconds are getting into the ring. They know that it's going to be, a, well, a formality of a count-out in the 11th round. He just completely ran out of gas at the finish. And you have to give credit to this fellow, Mike McCullum. It was a real champion finish, Jim, wasn't it? A tremendous performance, a champion performance all the way through. When Watson had a good round, McCallum came back with a better one. He controlled it all the way through. Watson gave it every last ounce he had, but it just wasn't enough. He just is not as good a fighter as this man, and that is no disgrace. But uh, I think they'll be queuing up for McCallum after this fight because that must have taken an awful lot out of the champion. That was a tremendously hard battle at his stage in his career. Well, certainly Michael Watson, count out or not, has made his mark in the, at world level. It was, a, it was a brilliant show until that dying half minute in the 11th round there. He, he completely ran out of gas and his left eye was closing and he was pumping punches in there, McCullum, as though he almost robot style. See, McCallum found that extra gear at the end of the 10th round. I thought it was just a little bit of showmanship, but it was quite the opposite. He's got so much left, Watson just completely exhausted. Yeah, and his head flopped down there like Wurzel Gummidge, didn't it? He'd, he'd really had enough there. The right hand at the finish, he'd, he'd probably taken harder fights, uh, harder punches earlier in the fight than that, but he was so exhausted, and he's still on the canvas there, and the Boxing Board of Control doctors, Mr. Watson and Karp, uh, are saying, leave him there for a moment. Don't uh, pull him around. Jim, have another look. Yeah, as we said, just sheer exhaustion. He'd given everything he had, and when the champion moved into another gear, Watson couldn't hope to go with him. But right to the end, he tried to battle back. Just absolutely nothing left. These were not devastating punches, but when you have no punch resistance left, that's what happened. Mike McCullum standing up on the ropes there, waving to the crowd. And there's quite a big Jamaican support, but most of it, of course, for Watson, who comes from Jamaican parentage, but was uh, born in, it, in London. Well, it's been a, a bad year for British boxers uh, and, at world, world level, and uh, Watson's sitting up now as they're crowded around him with our overhead camera giving you that view. But the days of hauling them back to the corner are over. The uh, medical panels will not allow that. And uh, Mike McCallum's going over there and saying, is he OK? And there's a close-up of uh, the break left and Eddie fucked with him. As I said, he's made his mark at world level. His time will come, Jim, I would have thought, after that. His time will certainly come. I just hope the fight itself hasn't taken too much out of him physically. I don't think so. He's still a young man at the beginning of his career. What a great performance he put up tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in the two minutes, uh, 22 seconds of the 11th round, by a count out, the man who has retained his WBA middleweight championship, Mike McCallum, is the winner. Well, Mike, a very good defence of your championship, but first of all, a word for the British lad, Michael Watson. What can I tell you about Mike Watson? That you guys, I'm not ready to see. The man is game. The man is brave. The man came to fight tonight. The man is a tough fighter. A lot of heart. He reminds me of me when I was younger. Well, for an olden, you kept going very well. It was him that finished through sheer exhaustion. The, the board doctor won't let us talk to him, although Michael's got a little bit of energy left. He does look exhausted. Yes, I'm 33 years old, I'm an old man. Old man still moving strong. I can't understand it. What happened? They all shut up now? No. What about an exhaustion there at the end, though, by Watson? That's what really did it. It wasn't a punch from you, was no, it? No, no, no. I was getting too many body shots. I'm really like myself. I just see right there. That was a long right hand. I came back with a left hook. And I know I had him then. And I was picking my spot right there. See? He body covered up beautiful. Body shots but the body, sh <laughs> the body shots took it all out of him. His tactics were right, but they just weren't good enough. That's for Mike McCarr. We're very proud of our middleweights over here. Is there anybody we've got here who's actually going to beat you one day? I don't think so. I'm not going to be beat right now. Not for a long time. Not on our 
horizon. No, nobody on the horizon right now.